Hello everybody, it's John Taylor here again and welcome to another one of my little animation videos. Um, I'm following on today from my previous ones which have been a walk cycle and a basic um, sort of manual lip syncing tutorial. And today I'm going to be focusing on um, some sort of character animation. Uh, in the last video that we did, um, we lip synced him, so I'll just show you again to kind of recap. Excuse me, um, have you seen my goldfish? So as you can see, we've, we've done the lip sync and I think one eye blink, but apart from that he's completely motionless, which doesn't look very natural. So we're going to go through today and add some, some movements. Um, so my first tip really is to actually get out of your chair um, and actually act out what you're going to animate. So stand up um, and then actually speak out your script and actually act what you're going to animate. And then take some notes or if you can, film yourself. Um, and then that will give you a real, much more of a natural idea of how, how that person should move. Um, so rather than sitting there going, well, how would my arm move? If you've actually done it yourself physically, you've got much more of an idea of what it should look like. Um, so I've done that for my little character here, which was a little version of me. Uh, and I'm going to now add some, some key poses to, to my character. So my first um, key pose is... Um, on the excuse me at the start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the keyframe. So this is a, a one here so my character doesn't move. And then my next keyframe is the one that I'm going to animate. So what happens in this little shot is turn my little line on one second, my little guideline is I'm going to um, my character is going to crouch slightly. Oops. Um, so I'm going to get on with that little crouch and hopefully I'll be able to talk to you at the same time. But bear with me because I'm not the best at working and speaking because I'm not used to it. See, I work by myself almost every day so talking to people is a bit of a weird thing even though I'm sitting here talking to myself. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I'm just going to turn on my guide there. So what I'm looking for there is just where the heel is because what you don't want to do is, is the weight to transfer where this foot is coming too far away. So do that, put that down. So I was giving a little crouch, so, the, so my first movement is the crouch. So there we go, so the first bit there is done. So he's just going to crouch down. Now the weight of his body is going to, let me just turn my mic down a bit. Um, the weight of his body is going to come forward slightly. So I guess my upper body peg and just bring that forward just a tad, just so the, the line of the weight of his body is in the center. Okay, there we go, so that's quite natural. Now, on my second thing on my list is his second arm, which is the one behind him here, on the excuse me, comes up. So, I'm going to go find his arm in here and find this peg. Now, I'm going to make it slightly longer than the first movement because you, you, your, your body doesn't move that perfectly in time with itself. So, you know, you want things to end and start slightly different times to make it look a bit more natural. Um, so on this shot, his upper arm is going to come out. This arm is going to the bottom, the lower arm is going to come out as well, like that. I might take it a little bit higher just to make it like he's pointing at somebody. Um, now this is my first proper little trick for you. It's a it's called a bounce. Well, I call it a bounce anyway. I, I don't know what it's you know definitely called in the industry, but you know, but I I call it a little bounce because all hand movements and gestures generally end with a little kind of wobble because of the of, of the weight that you're moving. So no arm, for example, like as it is now, would just go Ooh, and stop. That looks a bit rigid and a bit unnatural. So there's different ways of doing it. But what I'm going to do here is that's the end keyframe. I'm going to extend it out about two or three um, frames, select the lower arm, take it slightly higher, and then bring it about four or five frames, and then bring it back down again. So then when you play it, there'll be a little tiny bounce on the arm, just a very tiny bounce, I don't know if you can see that. But it just adds a little bit of, it makes it a little bit that, that bit more natural. And what you can also do, if you really want to, is on, on, on the hand layer as well, is do exactly the same thing. So make the hand come up a bit, and then back down a bit, so that they both bounce together. And it gives that little wiggle, which just makes it a bit more natural. And then also I'm going to have a little hand change. So we're going to change it. change the hand to an open hand. 
There we go. So let's zoom out a little bit. That's that's the. And also, when you're doing cutout animation like this, it's always good to do a drawing substitution, like the hand swap, on a movement. If the hand just changes all of a sudden when it's not moving, it's a bit weird. But you can kind of get away with it more if the arm or the hand is moving. So just a gentle movement like that, you see, makes it a bit more a new, you know, a bit more normal. So the eye, the eye is not as tricked by it. I mean, it is tricked by it. Um, so my next movement is the other arm. I'm going to have a slightly different movement, so it's not going to be as strong. Um, so just a little bit of a movement. Um, I'm going to get rid of that frame there. Let's stick it in here. And again, I'm just going to add a little bit of a bounce on the lower arm, just to kind of. It's probably a little bit too long, to be honest. I think we'll just knock it back a bit. There we go. So I'm quite happy with that first key pose. What I'm going to do now is just go in though. Cause his, the way he's saying it is a bit like he's a bit embarrassed. So I'm going to get my eyeballs. And on this keyframe here, I'm going to just bring them down like... Ooh, hello, wrong one. Um, like he's looking down to the floor, like he's a little bit embarrassed. He's not quite sure he wants to talk to somebody about this. After all, he has lost his goldfish, which is not the most normal thing in the world. And then I'll have a, a blink there. I might bring that a little bit earlier now that we've putting in some animation. And then the eyes the eyes are then going to come back up again. So I'll go back in here, add some keyframes. Some people like to do um, each frame or each part of the body at one time. I like to work my way through and just add things as I go, really. Um, I find it a bit more of a nicer way to do it. So that's not that's not too bad. And then on the have, he's going to kind of pop back up again to where he was before. So here, so I'm going to add another body, another peg to the body, and return that to where it was, but quite sharply. I want it, I want it to be a real kind of boink. And I'll get his legs again. So I'll go back and find his legs. Copy those. Make some keyframes there and there. And then paste those in. So now he's going to pop back up again. Excuse me. Um, have you seen my golf? So that's the body. Quite, that's quite nice. Excuse me. Um, have you seen my golf? And I think I might just knock his his body back a bit, just um, just to make it a bit more natural again. So I can just tilt it back a bit, and then do a. Excuse me. Slight bounce on that again, just to make it a bit more boing. See, my see that little, just a little bounce. Have you seen my goldfish? So um, that's the main body Excuse movements me. done. Um, have you seen my goldfish? And now I'm going to have the goldfish, the, the arms moving. So. On the gold fish is where, I, is where I want his hands to move, his arms to move. So I'm going to come down, make a keyframe on his hands. And then again, I want, I want it to be quite a sharp movement. I don't want it to be too slow. So I'm going to bring that down. And then I want his hand to change here as well to a point. So quite simple. And then again, I'm going to do a little bounce. My, my little bounce again on the lower arm, bring it down and then up again and the same with the hand so I'm going to do a little bounce on the hand and then back up again my goldfish. there we go my goldfish. and then I'm going to do the same with this arm I'm going to bring it up a bit but obviously I need to bring that down so that it doesn't cut over his t-shirt and then just add a little bounce on the lower arm bring that up and then 
down. Ooh, wrong one. There we go, okay. Goldfish. Have you seen my goldfish? Now, part of animation really is experimenting, so I want to do a little experiment. I like the idea, it sounds a bit strange, but on the goldfish, it will be his eyes getting wider. So I'm going to have his eyeballs expanding as he says goldfish. So here, I'm going to go to the eyeballs, let's just give it a go, why not? Um, do a keyframe, and I'm going to make each eyeball slightly bigger. I don't know if it's going to, I've not tested this, so I have no idea if it's going to work. And then, but sometimes you have to just give these things a go. It's something that you might not even notice, but it does actually add a little bit of sort of emphasis to the goldfish. What do you think? Let me know. Put a comment down and see. What <laughs> Let me know what you think of the um, eyes growing bigger. And again, I'm just going to have the upper body, or the body, I should say. Really, he hasn't really got a upper body. Just moving forward a little bit, like he's. Let's make that a bit too far, and then we can bring it back and then down again, like so. Have you seen my goldfish? Excuse me. Um, have you seen my goldfish? Have you seen the fish? So then. Uh, there we go, it's not looking too bad. Let me turn up the volume again so you can see it. Turn the selection off. Excuse me, um, have you seen my goldfish? What do you think? Excuse me, um, have you seen my goldfish? I'm not sure that, that the end bit's very good. Mm. I think we'll get rid of that one. Okay, so we're almost there. So I'm just gonna add a few more another blink. About there. Have you seen my goldfish? And then I'm gonna do a little bit at the end just to have him returning to a kind of a normal pose as such. So I'm gonna get his arms and then return them back down to where they were again. So take the first initial pose and bring them down. There we go. And also the keyframe changes the hand as well. So once again, just add a little bit of a bounce just to make it a bit more natural. There we go. So here we go. I think this is about enough for today. Excuse me. Um, have you seen my goldfish? Excuse me. Um, have you seen my goldfish? So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed that. Please let me know what you think. And if you have any questions or any comments, then please leave them on the, on YouTube, and I will definitely try and get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Thanks very much for now, and see you again soon. Bye bye.